Now, one of the greatest features in iOS 16, in my opinion, is the ability to add widgets to the lock screen. This is something that many iOS users have been wanting for so long and it is finally here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install third-party widgets. This is something you must try. I know a lot of users are gonna enjoy this feature once iOS 16 is officially out. So let me show you how to install third-party widgets on the lock screen of your iPhone running iOS 16. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, keep in mind, iOS 16, as the filming of this video, is still in beta testing. These applications will be installed using a beta testing method, right? So once iOS 16 is officially out, these apps will be in the App Store. You don't have to go through all this, but I'm going to show you how to actually implement the lock screen widgets. So the first thing you're going to need is go ahead and download from the description down below Test Flight. This is an Apple app that allows users to share applications that are currently being tested for testing purposes, obviously. You can download that free from the App Store. Once you have install make sure you launch it log in with your apple id free safe it's from apple so go ahead and do that right now links down below then the next thing you want to do is head on over to this website here called airport now this is where all these applications lie now all these apps don't have widgets but some of these do and i'm going to share with you guys one or two that are my favorite currently right now being tested and i want to start off with the lock screen contact widget this allows you to have contacts extensions within the lock screen of your iphone using a widget again this is going to be so popular you must try this out let's tap into this app application here and let's go ahead and click on get you get a description you get some information on how it works so let's go ahead and click get here it's going to bring us to test flight to accept and install download and install so once it's done downloading and installing we'll be able to actually open the application just like so now let's go ahead and click on next here accept this and we're good to go now it's easy to use all you have to do is create a widget here and let's type in a name here so let's go with iphone 13 pro max here and i'm going to remove the background make it a circle and click confirm so that's the contact that i want and now it's going to ask me what's going to happen when i click on the actual contact so i want to make a call a message or facetime i'm going to click on message here and then i can name it whatever it is that i want i'm just going to name it one two three four for the purpose of the video and select a spot you have three spots here widget one widget two and widget three we're going to go with one here and now we're done all we have to do now is go on to the lock screen here go into customizing mode click on customize and add a widget so we tap on the widget area here and then we scroll down and we find the actual extension for contact widget and there it is widget one now i can add two or three as you can see right there so we're going to go with one we have two different sizes small and medium i'm gonna go with the medium one here and that's pretty much it now i'm done i can click done here exit out of this click done and save this right here now every time i tap on this contact from the lock screen it's going to send me to create a new message remember that menu that asks us if we want to facetime or call now if you select facetime of course it's going to facetime that person if you select call it's going to call that person I select it, go ahead and send a message. Now there's other applications, as I mentioned, you can browse through the entire catalog here and go ahead and choose the ones that you would like to test out. As you can see here, there's different categories of different apps. Not every single application has an extension for the lock screen, but some of those do. I also like another one here called, what's the name? I forget the name. These are brand new applications, so excuse me, I don't remember the name, Countdown. Countdown is an application that I have installed here using Test Flight. And this application allows you to create a countdown for a birthday day or an event or something like that and you can add that widget to the lock screen of your iphone as well this is one that i've been testing here as well and it looks something like this right there it is it shows you how many days uh, are until that event or a birthday or whatever it is that you're counting down to it'll show you the date you have a small as you can see right there and a medium sized widget just like the previous application it's really cool very simple ui as well again using test flight you can go ahead and create a countdown here and uh, i recommend you guys check these applications out again all the links will be in the description but this is something you must try extensions and third-party widgets for the lock screen which is going to be something that's going to be extremely popular once iOS 16 is officially out to the public again this right now is in beta testing but in the future once iOS 16 is officially out you can search for apps in the App Store and then choose those extensions directly within those applications right here on the lock screen of your iPhone within this menu right here there's countdown as I mentioned before and you can go ahead and implement those directly onto your iPhone let me know what you think about this in those comments down below will you be using third-party widgets and extensions for your iphone with ios 16 thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one
Peace.